Welcome into Live It Up. I'm Lee Aker here with Pam Klein. We're excited to be here today at QC Kinetics. We'll be chatting with them a little bit later. Right now, we have this great lady with us. We're so happy that you're here with us. We have Kathy Hannes. She is the owner of Hello Cancer Friends podcast. Thank I you. am so amazed. I've never met anyone, I don't think, that had a podcast before. So welcome. Really? She's Thank like you. Famous. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm like, you're making me like, oh, I hope I do well. Autograph. <laughs> yeah, right. I'm really not. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, well, we're going we're gonna to find out that you are. I'm positive. <laughs> what inspired you to start this podcast? Okay, well, here we go. Uh, back <laughs> in. in. Yeah, we're going to dive in. we got to go back a little ways to 20. 19 and I was diagnosed with uh, inoperable stage three uh, as uh, sorry it's um, pancreatic cancer a rare form called acinar cell carcinoma and the the prognosis was very bleak um, really bleak like months to live sort of thing so um, after that um, my oncologist wisely ordered some genetic testing on my tumor it opened up uh, the results opened up a uh, trial drug for me of immunotherapy and it saved my life. Wow. Yes. And so um, going through that and on top of COVID, all of my treatments were solo. You couldn't have people with you early on in the pandemic. And so I was sitting in the treatment waiting room and all I can see are all of us patients sitting alone with our masks on. You can't see anybody's face, just eyes. And, um, you know, I knew my support network was strong, but I didn't know what everybody else had. And it just popped into my oh. head. I need to reach out. Oh, so that heart. was my way to do it. I have no experience with podcasts. I literally Googled every step. <laughs> <laughs> and oh how can people gosh. reach out to you? Like, how do they find it? Well, I actually do a lot of seeking, and I was really pleasantly surprised how um, the cancer community is very strong on social media. And so a lot of the people, I've interviewed people all over the world, literally. Wow. And I reach out, there's a lot of people that share their stories. And it's so inspiring. It is so yeah. inspiring. Mm -hmm. And you know, this isn't just patients, it's anyone touched by cancer. Right. Um, I helped my dad go through his cancer and you know I really think that being a caregiver is almost worse than being a patient you're you have well, you have oh, no control yeah. and um, it's hard to watch so I mean this thing is open to anybody who just wants to talk about it share their story or you know maybe listen in and maybe feel like hey. say hello yeah yeah, yeah. Hello. Yeah. Hello. Yeah. hello cancer friends it's very welcoming low her pressure. daughter sometimes wow. pops in yes oh, my so daughter sweet. was on it yeah a oh, while ago gosh. yeah yeah and then on top of all of that you wrote a book i did holy heck well it wasn't like i sat down to write a book i i started blogging uh -huh. and i i just wanted to keep people posted on my progress and you know happenings and what's going on mm. and the next thing i know i am just spilling my guts and you are an amazing writer oh. it, you're gifted you i really are well i I've, I've heard that before but i really have no confidence about that because it truly is and some people have said maybe it's because it's so real oh i don't God. hold back it comes from the heart and the soul of my being and so um, it is also a blog on kathyhannisblog.com but then i kind of morphed it into a book as well wow and you know what's the best part about the book? Hmm. It has a happy ending. Yeah. <laughs> my yeah. friend and my love has lived and has beaten pancreatic cancer. Oh my so gosh. what is next for you, dear? Okay, well, so I just finished uh, several weeks ago my final treatment of immunotherapy. 66 treatments in all. Mm, wow. <laughs> yeah, so I'm taking a little break before I have surgery. So okay. this inoperable tumor, the tumor monster, as I call it, uh, <laughs> it's still there and we're going to take what we can out. There's still, I'm still inoperable in some arteries and things, but what we can take out, we're taking it out and we're going to study it and hopefully the prognosis will be good and, um, you know, 
this SNR cell carcinoma is not well known. Oh. So we don't know for sure. So you're giving back right, right. kind of to the university that gave you this immunotherapy absolutely. magic. I, I just, I would absolutely love for some dots to be connected. How did I get so lucky? Yeah, gosh. And with about 12 seconds left here, any quick comments to anybody else who's recently diagnosed? Absolutely don't lose the faith, keep the faith, and take it one day at a time. Awesome. Well, Anything our thoughts happen. and prayers are with you, and <laughs> thank, thank you for inspiring so many people. Thank we so you appreciate so much. it. Thank you. And we appreciate you for watching. We'll be right back after the break.